Welcome to another video where I react to the Guinean dating show called Date Rush. As always, the right is at an all-time high. Um, you saw the title? <laughs> Let's just get right on into it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hi, here I am. So, this question that's about to be posed, you're not ready. You are definitely not ready for this one. Dating, and it's very serious. We've moved ahead. Very serious in your dating stage, okay? And later, you find out I'm not feeling too good. We go to the hospital. What's happening, girl? Tell me, I need a kidney transplant. Where is this going? And they check yours and you're a match to mine. Are you ready to give me your kidney? Will you sacrifice your kidney? Don't pretend. Don't pretend you didn't hear the question. No. The question is, will you, you sacrifice, sacrifice your kidney? Make sure you hear it properly. Now, these are the last two guys in the running. And they look dreadful. They look sad. They look <laughs> distraught. They're looking at the ground to see if there's any answers down there. They don't know how they're going to answer this because this is, this is a crazy question. Like when your question goes so deep into hypotheticals and it's like, who will know how to answer this question for real? Sebastian, this, you are my children, mother. I'm ready to do everything for you. We are dating, not married yet to have kids. Okay. If I should just dating no you guys we need to talk about this we need to talk about this just dating just dating oh that one day he can just decide ah me i'm out of here what 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 what, <laughs> what would you do what would you do does this warrant uh okay let's just yeah fine here's the kidney and then next thing you know they break it off now not to say that people can't get divorced or whatever but you know that there's different things at stake there. You know that people maybe try a little harder. Hey, because it's so much more difficult to get a divorce, this, that, that. Not with everybody, obviously. But yeah, you're just dating. You're just dating. Just dating. Now, some people do this. They give their kidneys even to like a friend or something like that. Hey, it's possible. But this is a, it's, it's a very serious question to ask here. Because you're not dating yet. And you don't even know if you're a match yet. See, it's different to ask this question once you have been dating. Your families know each other. You're, you know, y'all know each other. The, the, the relationship is going really well. You're really in it, in it, in it. And then you just pose the question. Even if it's not necessary to know the answer. Nobody's sick. Thank you, Jesus. And But you just pose the question like, what would you do? Just, just a hypothetical. But to ask it here, pre-dating... I think this is gonna this is gonna make a whole lot of guys just run off. They're gonna be scared. You. I'll do that. If he loves you, you'll do that. Yeah, you answer it like that because he doesn't really know what to answer. That's you're not sure. I'm very sure. She's not convinced. Sacrifice, huh? Okay. It is the ultimate sacrifice. It really is. Farid, you've been very unusual. In fact, you've been unusually oh, very quiet. Please, all the PAs in the world are, are like, oh no, please leave that microphone alone. Already, y'all's audio is horrible. It's horrible. The levels are off. Some people have a. Uh, everybody has a different type of microphone, and the levels are just not the same. Then you're not trying to break this. Don't ever, wherever you go, whether you're singing in a band, whether you're singing in church, whatever you're doing, do not do this with microphones because it will make the PA's people to make their hearts sink. Okay. Uh -uh. He's trying to show like, look, I got this in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, it ain't a thing. I don't worry about this. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's showing the thing up and down, up and down. Oh goodness me. Ah, your kidney to her so that you know she survives. You know? So you have to give his kidney to her. So she just survives. Stop. He's like, I saw this guy stumbling. Let me, I need to get out of here with this chick. Because I, I, I stop, hello. hello. The people are too rowdy. He's like, um, hello, y'all better chill. I need to conquer this lady. I need to come up with some cool stuff to say. All the right things to say so that she'll pick me over the other See, guy. Um, He's going to make it real easy. If you can remember, I told you how my past relationship went. Yeah, she got married without my notice. In this Ratchet. All of them have the same story. The woman got no married without his notice. How? And so, I um, she, she was there. That he was dating. She got married to somebody else. Definition of you know. Um, excuse me. Your name again. 
doesn't remember her name. I'm just gonna leave that all the way alone. He needs, yeah. I'm very plump like her, so I think. His ex was very plump like her. Okay, but that didn't do anything for her character though. She still had a dude on the side that she was married to while she was having you also on the side as a side dude that she was not married to. Or basically, she got married whilst you guys were in a relationship. Which is uh, the Rachiru personified. That is that's just crazy. But she was plump. And this woman is plump. So in your head, plump means what exactly? How do you equate that horrible person? Because you must be horrible to do such a thing. How do you equate that to this girl? It'd be like, yeah, that's what I want. My last relationship, oh yeah, well, we were dating. It was pretty serious. I was so in love with her. Then she got married without my notice as we were dating to another person. Wasn't even invited to the wedding. He did say that if you go back to one of the episodes that I reacted to. Didn't even invite me as if you would want to be invited to such an atrocious event. Um, and um, yeah. In any case, she did all that. You look like her, so I want to date you. How? Um, I like her, so um, the connection is there. And also, I like kids. So. He likes kids. He needs to. He needed to throw that in there because she's worried about the kids. She's not denying her kids, as you saw in the last previous episode or whatever, the one before that. So yeah, she likes kids, so he's trying to get all the brownie points, all of them. Farid, Farid. It is. It is, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, it's so funny how these these memes and sayings just traveled the world. It's incredible. Over to you, it is. Gonna boogie down, boogie down, boogie down, and then she just goes, um, wapow. And again, Sebastian is like, look. His eyes were already open, but like I said last time, his eyes were about to get open more because, boom, she's put it off. And he's like, he's not even bothered. At this point, he's like, look, my friend, go. He's just, he's just, he's just guiding Farid down those steps there. He's like, yeah, just go. Look, he's pushing him like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Whatever, it is what it is. Then they dance and dance and dance. And the music is really good though. Why were you so composed? Okay, well, I was very, very calm because I was observing her. You know. And according to him, he knew exactly that he was going to get her. That's why he was throwing the mic up and up and down. But also he was observing her. But he was also observing the men. See, sometimes you need to observe the playing field and do something different than what everybody else is doing, oh, right? To know more about her because, you know, because like my, because my colleagues were in a rush, you know, dancing with her and they know. All these things which may make her think, oh, they like me. Oh, we're clicking. Just like the other girl. Maybe that was two episodes, uh, the last episode. She was like, oh, I danced the girl with the cornrows. And the gold dress, yeah. She was like, I danced with the guy, so she thought that they were clicking, but that wasn't the case. So just because you run up to dance with the person doesn't mean that, oh, you really like her. He said, let me take a different route, okay? Uh, um, which I knew, you know, um, <laughs> she's going to be mine. Uh, so. <laughs> they are not many, they are not many, they are not many. They don't have the courage to move forward. It's all I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I like that some of them stood their ground. I didn't like how some of them were flip-flopping. Yeah, you know? Just come clean, come correct, just know what you it's want. It's beautiful when I see a plus-size woman who absolutely love themselves. and they Yes, and can get dresses to wear that, you know, uh, some people with a small or medium size could, can also wear. Like, just, uh, you know, yeah, it's nice to see. And she was confident. Confident. They are very... I'm going to say confident. Confident. Very confident. I love you. I, I, I. So, now this is part of the Rachu. Last time, this guy got with Belinda, the woman in all white. The one who was like, everybody was like, oh, she's a church girl, church girl. Their relationship ended up going absolutely nowhere. I choose to block her. I he blocked her. I like everything about her, but... I blocked her, but I like everything about her. So, basically, what had happened was she was kind of too much. Morning, afternoon, night. She wanted to know where he was, what he was doing, you know, that kind of lobby dabby stuff. Oh, baby, what are you doing? All that stuff, right, on the phone. He was like, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. So, yeah. Basically, he blocked Like, her. I'm sorry for whatever that happened. And now he's saying he's sorry for whatever happened. And I really love you, and I'll continue to love you. And I really love you, and I'll continue to love you. <laughs> mm. That's what he did. Mm. <sighs> well, in the words of Enis over here, not this one woman, but the last woman that we just looked at, 
you need to fight for what you want. Otherwise, you're not a man. If you really want her, please unblock her. That would be step one. That was a weird one. That was a weird update. And I don't know where she was. Couldn't they get her on Skype, Zoom, whatever, FaceTime, WhatsApp, video, Signal, whatever. Couldn't they get Google Duo? Couldn't they get her Viper? Is that even still around? I don't know. Couldn't they get her on something and let her tell her side of the story? Because this sounds weird to me. She doesn't strike me as the type who just be calling him and calling him and calling him, right? But whatever. Next week on Day Trash. But he should be there yes. in the kitchen, mm -hmm. keeping you busy. You know. The guy should be there as well as the girl. That's what she thinks. So next week it's gonna be all women and they're gonna be fighting for a man. But you said you wanted dark, tall, six pants, giant. Please, it's not me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, looking forward to that. So, anyway, stay tuned. I don't wanna make these ones very long. Let me know what you think about what she said about the whole kidney thing. That was. That was very interesting. Uh, mm, is that too soon to even be posing these type of hypotheticals? Let me know what you think. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp as on that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while she had it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Have a great weekend. Protect your mental health. We out. Not yet. Technology. We are for real.